Hello guys, I'm extremely pleased to welcome all car race junkies to Ken Racing. I've played Amos 2 for a total of 550 hours now. In this video, I answer some of the general questions I get from viewers who are considering to purchase Amos 2. If you already own Amos 2, let me know the great points of Amos 2 in the comment section below so that everybody can read. Let's get started! This is the main screen when you first fire up AMS2. There are a total of 5 menus you can choose from. The upper left hand side is single player mode racing with AIs. The below left hand side is a single player test mode which you can practice alone. The middle section is basically what most call the career mode. Razer is officially announcing that this championship mode is still work in progress. And this mode is not playable. I mean, you can do a race, but there is no difference to the single player mode racing with AIs at this moment. There are car restrictions, track restrictions you can choose from on this championship mode now. The upper right hand side is the online race. You can easily join an online race. Having said so, I haven't done any online race because I had many bad experiences getting bumped by dirty drivers wasting my qualifying time like 10 minutes a couple of times. I do rather enjoy racing with AIs because AIs on AMS2 are getting really good compared to other sims like R Factor 2. I rather feel AIs on AMS2 are better than R Factor 2 sometimes. Razer is still working on the safety ranking system on this online race, and there are sometimes few online races you can join depending on the time zones you live in. The below left hand side is a time attack mode. You can compete with online racers around the world. It's exciting because you can set a ghost to compete with. I wish there was a time attack mode under rain conditions. I know it's difficult though, like the Cody's F1 game has. I will walk you guys through more by driving on Lotus 23 from the 1960s which was launched very recently on Amos 2. I'm driving at Cadwell Park. Okay, here we are at Cadwell Park. The race is on AI difficulty 95 and AI aggression 100. Getting back to Amos 2, physics. When it comes to physics, I think Amos 2 is extremely good even if you compare it to R Factor 2. Because I don't have any experience on driving actual racing cars, let alone classic Formula 1 cars, I think comparing the force feedback to R Factor 2 is an only option for us, especially if you don't have any driving experience on the actual racing cars like me. R Factor professional version is a de facto standard when it comes to driving simulation because actual racing teams like Red Bull. The Formula 1 team are using this. Even Max Verstappen is saying that R Factor 2 and iRacing is the only sim he plays. R Factor 2 is developed for a personal use and has an excellent force feedback. It is like a trade off though, R Factor 2's graphics and user interface seems still outdated, in my opinion even though R-Factor 2 massively updated its graphics and user interface this year. I still personally love R-Factor 2 and play often. In regards to AMS2, there are still many bugs, especially when the new car model is introduced. So when you look back to ACC launch back in 2019, I see there were a lot of complaints happening within the first year of the launch. The car model I'm driving now, the Lotus 23, this car is really a blast to drive, especially on 8 shifters with clutch. This car model had gone through a hot fix recently and the force feedback physics is now updated. We are getting into the last corner and we are in lap 2 now. Left 
side. Hold your line. Clear left. In regards to AIs, I'm actually racing with the AIs and this I think it will be a good example. There are some improvements and fixes Razer needs to implement, though they are doing a great job. I understand that programming AI is a super complicated task. I am very satisfied with the AIs both difficulty-wise and aggression-wise. AIs are well programmed on how to drive depending on each car model. I see some videos on AIs bumping into the drivers or vice versa AIs stuck in the traffic on the opening lap and drivers bumping in. If you are bumped by AIs, there is a possibility that you are way slower than the AIs, which I understand is very difficult for ourselves to kind of accept. When you look at other simulators, the same thing happens like simulators on ACC. So I think that can be avoidable if you drive carefully and set the proper AI difficulties and AI aggression. Razer is announcing that AI difficulty 100 and AI aggression 50 is the best balance which you can experience a good race with AIs. Razer is updating Amos 2 at a very decent pace and I think it has been evolving at a very fast pace compared to other racing titles. Razer switched the engine on Amos 2 and newly hired talents to handle the new Slightly Madness engine. Reza pretty much started from where AMS-1 left off and take it from there. Not letting go of that baseline had been their number one priority before committing to using Madness Engine. Reza developed tools to convert a lot of their data-based files into Madness Engine, like track AIWs, AIW files basically provide AI drivers the information required so they can properly control their vehicles around the track. And other data like trackside cameras, physics for chassis, aero, suspension, and parts of the drivetrain. The only data Razer started from scratch is the tire model. Razer fairly judged that Slightly Madness Studio Engine database had better quality than its AMS-1 data. We are approaching the last corner as we speak and getting into the final lap. I think one of the outstanding point Amos 2 has is its graphics. I think in-game graphics quality is very well organized. Also what I love about Amos 2 graphics is that there are no delay whatsoever at all. When you turn the wheel, the graphics completely synchronizes. In regards to car models and tracks, there are many car models available in Amos 2. They have tons of tracks in Brazil which are not available on other racing titles and there are many classic tracks which don't exist anymore in the real world. I think they had around 50 tracks on Amos 2 now. Regarding the car model, I think Amos 2 is offering more than 70 car models now, both classic and modern cars. Many cars have their own characteristics including force feedback. Each model has a different unique force feedback so when you drive many models you can enjoy the differences in the wheel dynamics. You can also do a multi-class race so there are tons of car models and tracks combinations you can try out. Which of course includes the imaginary combinations. 
So for example, it's like a truck in Bathurst or supercar in Adelaide, modern F1 car in classic Interlagos, etc, etc. Okay, we are about to approach the last corner. So much for the video. Thank you very much for tuning in. Make sure to smash subscribe and thumbs up button. Also, check out my playlist on other similar videos. See you in the next video. Ciao.